overview of the online booking widget and settings. With 45% of customers now preferring to make a restaurant booking online compared to 20% who prefer calling, it is a necessity nowadays to have online booking readily available on your website and social media pages. To add simple ERB online booking widget to your website and social media pages, head to the Get Widget Code for your website settings. We have four different designs to choose from, depending on how you would like to fit this in your website layout. To obtain a widget script, select the circle next to the preferred widget design. A box will appear with the script, which you can pass on to your website developer for them to add to your website. Your unique widget booking link URL, located here, can be added to social media pages such as Facebook via the Add Page button, Instagram within the bio, and a pinned tweet on Twitter. You can control your widget settings by using the widget settings and availability. You can select to display children and infants or turn off the table turn time from the customer view on the confirmation emails. Control your online customer bookings here by showing how far in advance you wish them to be able to book, the maximum covers a customer can book, and how much advanced booking notice you would like. If you want to limit your online booking covers to prompt larger bookings to telephone, we suggest asking your web developer to add text above the widget to inform customers to call so you don't miss out on these bookings. The next section of this is where you can control the online availability of the widget. If you find you are getting full, for example, on a Saturday night and want to be able to have further control over booking capacity, you can remove widget bookings here for a couple of hours or for the rest of the current date. You can also specify here certain recurring days, dates, and time slots along with certain tables you might wish to close from online bookings. Here we have the customer online widget view when making a booking using the standard widget design. The customer chooses the booking date from the calendar. Any dates that are grayed out are dates in which have been set as closed days or days you are not open. Depending on your widget setup, the customer then selects how many adults and children. If you have an available table to accommodate the customer, they will be directed to the booking time slots. If the customer's booking requirements, along with the selected time slot, is not available, the customer will be alerted to a message to advise there are no longer any suitable tables for the customer date or time and cover selected. You can always have your web developer add text above your widget to inform customers if their desired date and time are not there to phone the restaurant, as you might be able to rearrange tables or overwrite an edit to accommodate the customer. After the customer proceeds with the booking and selects a time, if you have any offers enabled, these will appear here for the customer to book. If you don't have any offers in place, the customer will then be directed to the booking detail form. Here is where any customer messages you have added will be displayed, along with any information regarding deposit or card details that are required for the booking. The customer is required to add an email address in order to confirm the booking. The customer can select here if they wish to subscribe to your mailing list and the opportunity to add in any booking comments. When they confirm the details, they are directed to a final confirmation page to check if their details are correct. Here they will need to tick into the check boxes to accept your booking terms and conditions along with the deposit policy. Once they confirm the booking, a reference will appear and an email is sent to the customer and the restaurant if they have ticked in to receive a notification.